also cool. We are like on the way to Olivine City, I believe. We are, yes. We just beat um, uh, the fog gym. We got a fog badge. Is it a fog badge we just got? Yeah, it's the fog oh, badge. shit badge. Does fog to you say ghost? Not really, no. It doesn't. Not to me. But we beat him. That's the important thing. We did. And it, and it was really easy. Super, super easy. Super easy, no problems. Like, if only we had Heracross. Heracross could have done it. <laughs> I'm never going to let it go. <laughs> like, we never, it, like, mate, what? we never get him one. I don't care. It's become like the little meme between me and Carl now. Of just everyone's like, get a Heracross. And we're like, why the fuck does everyone give a shit about Heracross? Like, so it, it's not that I dislike Heracross. I, I, Heracross is one of my probably favourite Gen 2 Pokemon as well. But it's the fact that specifically everyone won't stop commenting about Heracross. And the fact that they don't think we know it's in the game. Yeah. I, I'd never realised like it. Like the first just... one or two comments, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, like... Because we just Heracross got headbutt. Cool, yeah. We just, we just got, got headbutt, head yeah. Oh, maybe people say, like, headbutt's a thing we can get. And, and it's been know. like 10 episodes of people like, do you know about Heracross? It's like, yes, we're aware of it. I talk <laughs> about it in like the episode where we discuss my favourite bug type Pokemon. I know, like, people will probably uh, notice if you pay attention to Twitter at all, like, how far ahead we are on these recordings by, like, the time difference between Carl tweeting about Heracross <laughs> and this video actually going on. Oh yeah, we've got so many. Oh, we're so, 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 so far many. ahead. It's great though, isn't it? It is great. Well, that leads also into the other thing that we've got to deal with the people like, um, being annoyed at me specifically. I'm not sure if you've had this yet, but um, why are the videos in your playlist that aren't live yet? And it's like, because that's how content creation works. Yeah, I I've not had that specific. I guess we're just going to give up on uh, Fury Swipes because we've got caught. Yeah, we've got caught and we've also got a double kick if we need to hit more than twice. Yeah. Or we need to hit more than once, sorry. Yeah, to be fair, double kick can't hit more than twice. That's why it's called double kick, man. Yeah. It's all so, good, yeah, one. We're, we're just like, oh, Route 39 we're on, sorry, Carl. We're on Route 39 because we're still doing our, our big cheats. We are doing big cheats. So I, I told Carl, oh yeah, Route 38, but I forgot that's the one we've already like been through. So let's have a quick look. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out. So the things we've got on this one, we've got, there's a couple of nuggets. Drain Punch. The TM is in this bit. We, we, want, we definitely want to go get Drain Punch. We do. And do you know what? Milk tank ain't giving me any milk. <laughs> oh, no. What should it be? Like, the, the, the mill tank that we killed. It's Whitney's mill tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like and maybe well, that maybe that mill tank was like the god of all mill tanks. Is this the mill tank that we got? Like you got to get berries, haven't you, to heal it? Yeah, but like, how shit are they that they can't go get berries? Those things that you just find on the fucking ground. Uh, Moo. So if you check the ground around mill tank as well, you should find something. Oh yeah, you have to give it like ten orange berries, don't you? Ten. Yeah, it's like it's cries weak. And it's like oh, it's cries like a little stronger. Just keep talking to you. Keep giving it. Um, I've uh, got no more Auron berries. We had one. Oh, I'll have to keep an eye out for them. But apparently, there's a couple of hidden items uh, near Mill Tank. I'm just, I'm just mashing my A button, Carl. Unless though you can't get in there yet, because there's people in the way. Can you get behind Mill Tank? Uh, let's have a look. It's crying it's weak. I'm trying. I'm trying, little Mill Tank. It's not a little Mill Tank. Mill Tank's a fucking massive. <laughs> yeah. No, I guess not. Because apparently, like, there's a PP Max in this room. Or PP up, sorry, which is super useful. But that's one of the, the items as well that I never really got around to using. So I know it's in competitive Pokemon. People are like, you've got to use PP up on every single like, move. The Just... issue is, like, especially when um, you've not been like grinding money at the end game or anything, it's like PP ups and maxes are very, very limited. Can you, you can't and buy I think them, in older then. games, like, you couldn't even buy them. You only found them. So yeah. it was like, oh, I the never used here. them because I was afraid like, oh, well, but what have you used them on like a move that I get rid of? Okay. In which Good. case, check between these maps and hidden items out here. So it just says between the mill tank. And like the people- Oh, there we, go. there we go. Yeah, it's out here. That'll be useful for like a move that we're gonna, like, we know we're gonna use a lot of. Like an earthquake or something like that. Yeah, something ridiculous. And then drain punch is, if we definitely want, west of the silo. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I just did spot that there. There we go. So that's P that should be Drain Punch, which we absolutely want to teach you something straight away. That do is... we, though? I'm trying well, to think, what was it? Do, do we want to save it for a Pokemon like later well, in the game? Well, let's see what we've got, because Nidoqueen might be able to learn that. 
That's but, that's hedging our bets that like Aurora is going to stick with us throughout, though, Carl. Yeah, for example, because it is one of the, the better moves in the game, isn't it? It is. I got. I think power sixty, not great, but is the fact you heal half your move. Oh, oh no, 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 no anyway. one can learn it anyway. Do you know who could learn it though? Heracross. <laughs> We're gonna double check now. I'm actually gonna do it. Can Heracross learn Drain Punch? Because it's one of the best moves in the game. Right, and so many things can learn it. And, um, yeah. And this is, well, the gen before they raised its base power to 75. Oof. So it's 75, and then when you give it a fighting Pokemon, it's like base 110 power or something. Like Hitmonchan, when Hitmonchan is like fucking you, hitting you with Iron Fist. Oh, God. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, there's the rock climb in the game, Carl. Rock climb. Fuck that, I gen. <laughs> I've never even heard of rock climb. You know I miss this thing. <laughs> you know I miss this game when I never use rock climb. So I guess it's time to just like... Who's that Pokemon? No, oh! Oh! Shit, we can't get Surfetch though. No, we can't. He's not, he's not worth it. Um, Heracross cannot learn Drain Punch. Oh, can't he? So it's fucking useless, mate. No, uh, that's it. Heracross can't join the team now, Carl. Well, we can talk about this though. One of the things I've been doing recently is I've been like trying to raise a few Pokemon. Oh, okay, yeah. Get ready and I've been trying to make a few interesting teams. Then, like, speaking of Drain Punch, I have like a Toxicroak. Yes. Toxic Crow is one of my. Um, uh, I take it we're just killing Far Fetched. We don't want a Far Fetched, mate. Nah. Uh, it comes with its own seasoning, but unless, it you've got, unless you've got Stick, is it? The item? I think it's so. It's attack basically useless. It's similar to like Thick Club where it doubles uh, Far Fetched. Oh no, it increases critical hit ratio, doesn't it? I'm not, I, I can't even remember what it does. It raises critical hit ratio because that's how you get Sir Fetched. You've got to land three critical hits in one fight. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it evolves into Sir Fetched. Which I love Sir Fetched, but I just hate that it's um, fighting, pure fighting. Mm. If it was fighting flying, cause then it could make use of stuff like uh, Air Slash. True, or whatever true. the fuck it is. I'd have loved to see it learn Flying Press. Well, it could have done. Like, I hate that Flying Press is unique to Horlucha, because Horlucha again is a super interesting Pokemon. Yeah. And like, because Drain Punch is it's basically the Oof. move you, you have to put on a uh, fighting type, isn't it? If you have a yeah, fighting kinda. type, it's either you give it Cross Chop, or you give it Drain Punch, or you give it like Dynamic Punch, so that's gonna go for damage, but it's such a useful option all the time to just have this like base 100 power attack that heals you. Yeah. And I have it on a Toxic Croak, where I think everyone has the same build for Toxic Croak, where it's Drain Punch, Dry Skin. Ah, right, yeah. But well, I was making a special um, uh, Toxic Croak, because it can learn Nasty Plot. Ooh. And I forgot that it can learn Nasty Plot, and it can also learn Vacuum Wave from um, Hitmonchan. Oh, right. Which is the uh, the special version of Mac Punch. So I was thinking that'd be interesting, because people probably aren't expecting this little Toxicroak to be a special attacker. Yeah. And you're not expecting it to bust out fucking Vacuum Wave. Um... So that's like one of the more interesting Pokemon I've been like building recently. That's um, a, yeah, that is an interesting set. I've not really seen anyone using... Um... A special attacking what talks to Croak before? Well, it's because I, I looked and I realised I have no special attackers in any of the Pokemon that I've trained so far. Oh, really? Because it's a lot easier to get uh, attack EVs. Mm. Because you just go fight, yeah, go to Isle of Armour, sit in the middle of the ocean, and just let Sharpedos come to you. Oh, uh, okay. And Sharpedos give you two attack EVs. And then you just give everything the, uh, the speed belt thing that gives them more speed EVs. And you just fight like 20 um, Sharpedos and you're fully EV trained. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, is there any interesting Pokemon you've built recently? Any like new sets you've like been thinking about? Because I, every time I think about Pokemon, I get really excited. And then I remember it's a ball ache to breed just the right Pokemon. It is, yeah. And I haven't actually been um, training Pokemon recently. Um, mm. I've just been quite busy with other games. like. Playing some uh, Mario 3D All Stars and you have, haven't you? Yeah, fair enough. I just like, last night as well. I picked up a uh, Hades. Have you heard of it? No, I've I've heard the name. Describe Hades to me. Uh, so Hades is um, it's like a kind of isometric um, hack and slash roguelike. Oh, you do like your roguelike, so I can see I that. I do, um, and it, I played like an hour or so so far because. Everyone's basically been saying like this game is like game of the year contender, mm -hmm. and I was like, look, I wanted to pick it up, but goddamn yeah, it's twenty percent off on Switch like for the first two weeks it's out or something. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's do that. And I played an hour last night, and fuck me, it's good. Oh, okay. So 
Solid game. You give it your like your, a big Lucas thumbs uh, up. I've only played an hour so far, but it was one of those games that I immediately, like the moment I got my hands on it, I was like, yep. This feels good. Yeah, this feels good. The combat feels great in it from the get. And I was just like, okay, okay, I'm down. And okay. yeah, I'm, I'm super looking forward to it. Oh, we're already at Olvine City. Fucking hell, we just got straight through, didn't we? We did. Yeah, well, I think, though, the only thing on that route is just it's the mill tank. Yeah. If we can't, if we haven't got the orange berries, we're going to go the orange berries. And as a sh um, just to let you know, looking at the Pokemon you can encounter there, hmm. not many good Pokemon. There's far oh, okay. the mill tank, there's Tauros. But we don't really want a normal type Pokemon for our no, team. No, we don't. Do we? They're good, but they're, just, I, I, they're so boring. Oh, no. Sick Pokemon at the Lighthouse, Carl. Oh, God, no. Boo hoo just let sick Pokemon go. That does sound like oh, a lot to me. It does. A Pokemon can't battle is worthless. They literally cast them aside. <laughs> a bit of a better trailer. It says the guy who's lost to us every single time. Yeah. I, I hate that about rivals in video games where. They lose to you and then continue to shit talk you throughout the rest of the game. But Carl, but like, is it any worse than like in Pokemon X and Y where you had like four friends that were all just like, I love you, you're the best. I hated that. I would much prefer like they will never talk blue. No. Like no a character in video games will ever make me as annoyed with anything they do, as much as Blue did by saying smell you later and swag walking into the distance <laughs> after you beat him. You beat him and he acts like it's like, whatever, smell you later and just swag walks away into the distance. Like, oh God, you're so fucking cool, Blue. And that's the thing is, like, I think, like, Red, Red, like, whatever his name is, mm -hmm. the one, the rival in this game, anyway, um, I think he, he's still along those lines of, like, Blue. Where it is kind of just like, oh yeah, fuck you, but I feel like Blue earns it a little bit better because as he well. does. He is like an annoying little brat, like, smell you later, and it's like, fuck mm. off. The reasons why I like Blue is that later games in the series established that they're friends. Yeah. That they became like the Goku and what? Vegeta of the Pokemon world, where they don't like each other, but they respect each other. And well, then this like, guy is just like, fuck you. Yeah, he's a prick. Yeah. Um, but I, I adore that um, they become friends. And then you have in the battle tree or battle tower equivalent of um, Sun and Moon, they're in it. Did you fight against Blue or Red in those? Um, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. I was just reading what she was saying, but... Um, well, she's battling yeah. you. Um, in the Pokemon Center as well. In the Pokemon Center, she's ready to be healed immediately. She's I out, think she this is the introduction of... Um, like the stickers you put on Pokeballs to give them effects when they come out. That's all. Why is that not a thing in the newer games? I don't know. That's so fucking cool. Like, I can say the other day, I was doing a raid battle and it was a Sharpedo. So I was like, I want a Sharpedo with um, speed boost. And it happened to be a shiny Sharpedo. Oh, right. Which, which is purple. So I caught it with a Master Ball. Oh, nice. Just so I've got a purple ball with a purple Pokemon in it. Yeah. It's like, I love that. And then in this game, it's like, nah. That's awesome. Well, no, in this game, it's like, yeah, but um, you can put, I think, uh, if, it, if I'm thinking of the right um, game, you can put, like, up to five stickers with different little, like, opening effects when you throw the Pokeball. Why is that not a thing in the new game? That's awesome. Like, so you can have, like, a, a Pikachu in a ball and Electric comes out when you throw it. As it should. Because that's or, one of the like, things, like, this one where Blossom comes out to Petals. The one that I really dislike, one of the things I really dislike about the new game is that they took out all of the old, the new balls they introduced throughout the games, and you only get like one from Ball Guy, like you get one heavy ball, and there's and no way to buy like, them. Yeah, um, in that capsule, like whatever the you can make the them. you can make things in, but I want to be able to buy them because I want to get them in the heavy ball. I want to have the unique Pokeball for each Pokemon on my mm -hmm. team. Yeah, as sad as that sounds. So did, we just, did we just, just get that then? She made it. How is that not a thing? That's so annoying. I did not know that was in this game. <laughs> Maybe it would be in your fashion case. It's like, it is part of your um... fashion. Oh. Right, so let's just talk to her again. That, look at that. That is, do you know what that is? 
That is fucking awesome. You are the only person in the world with that because you can customize the effect. Yeah. And in a series that's all about like make your team your own. I love that. And then you go watch competitive Pokemon, which is the same eight Pokemon. So great. <laughs> I was actually looking up um, like old, um, you know, like teams used in um, like VGC and whatever for old Pokemon mm -hmm. tournaments. And there was one tournament that I found where the top eight was the exact same team eight times. Like the exact same team. It's like, oh my god. Right, so I can't. Do you want to maybe just Google this quickly? Oh yeah, I'm trying it. Yeah, uh, da, da. it's accessed from your PC. Ah. Cool. Maybe it's Lala's it. PC. Ball capsules. There we go. There we go. Oh, we don't oh, have any you... seals. Ah oh, damn. So we'll have to keep an eye out for them. Yeah, definitely. I want to throw some like wacky shit on our Pokeballs, Carl. See? If they had that in the new game, I would be every single one of my teams would be customized to fuck. I'll be yeah. pimping out the Pokeballs, man. And what um also got me is they've dabbled in the idea of having accessories on Pokemon. But never really doubled it. Never down. really managed to do it. Like obviously they did it in um Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee for just your Pikachu or Eevee. God, I hate when they I hate in games where they introduce a mechanic but you're only allowed to use it for one thing. Yeah. And it's a mechanic that works fine. And again, it's harder to make, like, oh, a hat that can fit on 900 Pokemon. But it is annoying that it's like, we have the potential to customise your Pokemon, but, but also one. not at the same time. Ugh. Super frustrating. Uh, apparently this place is only for beefy sailors, Carl. Yeah, oh, you get strength in this city as well, but you get it from the mountains now. Oh. Yeah, you used to get it from a cafe here, but now you get it when you go hiking. Ah, uh, uh, maybe I, that's why I was thinking that then. Big beefy hiker gives you it. Oh yeah, to go back to um, like red and blue, I adore that in the battle tower. Uh, when they introduce the battle tower, you have red and blue stood there, and they're like, "Yeah, it to you, yeah." And they're like, "We came all the way from Kanto to try and fight some strong trainers." Yeah, isn't that right, Red? And he looks over at him, and, he was and he's doing the fucking Vegeta with his arms crossed, and, and like, it I'm just not does talking. the dot dot dot, and then just blue goes, ah. Oh, always the same mate and i love that i love that they're friends it's yeah. great so we basically have nothing we can sell particularly no we don't found any there are nuggets on the ground that we've walked past but probably yeah my bad but like when when i say like we want to use a uh, big cheat i'm not a call tell me every single item on the ground that we've missed no no stuff like that. it's just uh, we, no. just to know we're, we're going in the right direction because uh, normally when I play Pokemon, I'm playing Pokemon for like five hours. When I get yeah. the story, and I'm playing it for five hours until like every day until I complete the story. Yeah. We're playing it for like one and a bit hours um, once a week. Yeah. So it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, we <gasps> don't have a seal call. Find out where the seal case okay, is. Okay, I'll find out where we get the seal case. Seal case. Soul, soul. We need to get the seal case. It's like big cheats we may not be using for uh, like items and stuff, but for that... Ooh, Moo Moo Farms. Oh, no. When, when you get seven Oran Berries, so you need to heal the Mill Tank. Yeah. So just remember, Mill Tank is our number one priority, so we can pimp out our Pokeballs. <laughs> it's the only thing I give a shit about. Okay, so Carl, uh, it's time to climb the lighthouse and like battle some trainers on the way. Perfect. So that means it gives us a chance to train a follow Pokemon. I'm thinking so, Charles, because... Yeah, because he's going to be one of the ringers. He's definitely staying on our team to the end. Yeah. So you could do with like... Bear in mind, what, the ghost train? He had, like, 20, level 25 Pokemon? Something ridiculous like that, yeah. Like, we um, need to get him to at least level 25. Um, his staff are pretty good. So the two that we've said are definitely staying on the team, we've got Mareep that will be eventually an yeah. Ampharos, and then Charles, Charles. or Espeon. So two very strong Pokemon. Oh, and no, the, why Why am I that stupid? Yeah. It's not like Lucas, it happens. Yeah. And then just so, like, to keep in mind, um, for maybe a Pokemon you want to train, uh, this gym leader in this city... Remember the typing? Uh, it'd be electric type because she's got an Ampharos, right? Nope, steel type. Oh. It's Jasmine. And I can, we could do that. Is she just looking that. after the Ampharos in the tower then? Yes, it's the Ampharos that gives out the light. She's the steel type trainer. Because I think right. that was introduced in this game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and it, yeah. And it's when steel type was ridiculous and you couldn't touch it. And she has the Steelix. Ooh. If you and remember that. And you're like, did you Fuck. know that there's never been a dark type gym? There's not. 
Um, presumably because in Japan it's the evil type. So they don't want to make an evil gym leader. So they don't want to make, yeah, the e There has been, um, in Sun and Moon, one of the kahunas was dark type, but he didn't, like, have his own setting or anything. So I think more they don't want to theme a gym around the idea of evil. Yeah, which is a, a shame. Um, because one of the things I've been doing, I've been trying to make a couple of theme teams for when we eventually battle. Yeah. Like on stream one day, presumably. Well, well it'll I happen. When, so, yeah. When I'm confident enough in my team. And I thought, I'll make a Dark Tight team. Because Dark Tight, the moves are super interesting. Because um, one of the other interesting sets that I was making, it's probably not that original, but I noticed that one of the moves you can get in Isle of Armor is Lash Out, which okay. is a Dark Tight move, base 75 damage, but it does double damage if the Pokemon that you hit has had its stats lowered this turn. Ooh. And I looked and went, oh, Crocodile can learn that move. Crocodile's a dark type, and it knows Intimidate. So turn one, you can open with a base 150 dark type attack before stab. You'd have to check whether that would work. It does. It does work, yeah. I checked it in the battle tower this morning. It fucking wrecks oh, everything. Okay. Because, because, like... As long as they're I wasn't sure whether turn. Intimidate would count as being part of that turn or not. But man, that sounds ridiculous. Oof. That's a beefy crocodile right there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Like, as soon as we can actually hit with the Shadow Ball, things are looking up. Oh god, that little squirt. Now that water effects look better than the water effects in Sun and Moon. Oh, they look amazing. And Sword and Shield, sorry. I forget, there's so many gens of Pokemon at this point. The weird thing is, like, I'm a person who's played Pokemon their entire life, got like every single gen of Pokemon, oh, the no, moment it's come out, and I still get things mixed up. Oh, I just looked. Um, uh, I double check. I think I just have a really strong Crocodile, because it's just hitting things. That does not work. Intimidate does not work. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, what? It must just be I've got a really strong Crocodile. Must be, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. So it's only going to work in doubles, isn't it? Yeah. That'd be a good lead, though. Like, in doubles, to have, like, Noble Roar or something like that. Um, or even if it's, um, like, get a prankster Pokemon. Yeah. And even if it's, like, oh, I don't, like, Leah, which hits both Pokemon, like, lower the defense of both Pokemon, then Crocodile attack. Yeah. Um... Like, obviously, want... Leah's not a top tier move or anything, but yeah. in that scenario, if you build it around it, it could be really useful. And you'll always defend. But I'm just thinking now, that's kind of annoying. It must just be my Crocodile super buff and just taking everything out in one hit. Yeah. Because it is a very strong Pokemon. But the other one that I was uh, making was a Morpeko. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it can learn Parting Shot. The little and I was thinking, Pokemon. And I was thinking of teaming that up with the, um, the Crocodile. Which one is Parting Shot? Uh, the one that lowers their attack and their special attack, and then you switch out. Oh. So I was thinking of using those as a double thing. Yeah, yeah. But now you said Leah, that's a pretty good idea. Like, like it's you, a pretty basic idea, but I think it's it a it's work. a basic attack, but it does hit both. It does lower defense. Yeah. And you might and you might be thinking, why are they using Leah? Why have you got a level fifty Pokemon that still knows Leah? And then it lowers Leah both thing. their defense, and then Lash Out comes in. Yeah. And then it uses part in shot to just lower their attack again. That's, just, that's interesting. I want to look at that. Can Morpeko learn Leah? It probably can. Every Pokemon knows fucking Leah, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. And that's a really interesting. If you can hit both teeth, Pokemon. Yes, it knows Leah. I might do that because people think, the fuck are you using Leah? Like, what are you rocking up to a fight with Leah? Especially as well, all those little Morpeko. Yeah. Like, what, what do you do with that? Like, what is this strategy? And then Crocodile just comes in. Because then you get the double Intimidate as well. You get the Intimidate from the Crocodile when it comes in. But I'm thinking, mm. maybe I could put it on my other one as well, the one that has um, uh, uh, Moxie. Because the thing I was thinking of, like, could I do a double Crocodile? And then oh, one yeah. with Moxie, one with um, Intimidate. Lower their attack and have them both use Lash Out. I mean... On each one. You probably could, but most things don't, like, use the same Pokemon. Shame. Could you use Galarian types, but... That was just one of the, the ideas I thought, but oh, that's kind of disappointing. Because I was thinking, oh my god, this power, this tactic's so powerful. Mm. Look at how good Lash Out is. Then I was thinking, oh, you just, oh. Do you know what, though? That'd be too powerful. It would be really powerful. Oh, Maxi can learn charge. That's, uh, it doubles the uh, damage of the next electric time he uses, isn't it? It does raise special defense, but 
that would mean getting rid of like tackle or attract and having three electric moves. And it like work. the charge thunder wave thunder shot is like a lot to bet on. But it, that probably will one hit kill most things with stab. Hmm. And once we get like thunderbolt, is it just the next move? Yeah, it's just the next the next electric move. But I always... don't feel like we need that for like the campaign of this. No, but it would be interesting to use. It would be, um, but I just don't. I feel like yeah, most things will be all right. Um, but these pidgeys, man. And God, I forget how bad, like, just the overall beeping. Just did it, did it, did it, did it. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's scared of it, man. Everyone's scared of it. It, just, it's, it keeps going. And it, oh, man. There we go. But, oh, yeah, to bring it back to like, the dark type things. Um, oh, yeah. I was looking. A lot of dark type moves are super interesting in their effects because a lot of them, because it's basically like it's cheating, isn't it? It's dirty tactics. Yeah. A lot of them lower stats, and I was thinking of building a team around a like dark type team that's all about just lowering stats mm -hmm. of like parting shot, um, lash out, intimidate. And the other one is power trip, where you do more damage based on how powerful your opponent is. Uh -huh. So I was thinking of like doing a double battle where you'd have a dark Pokemon one uses um, uh, have it no flatter and um, swagger. So whichever oh, right, it, yeah. whichever attacker kind of attacker it is, do the opposite. And then have Crocodile use Power Trip, mm. which it does more damage based on how many stat boosts they've had. And I was just thinking about building a team around the idea of constantly lowering your opponent's stats. Yeah. <laughs> and being super annoying, like give everything parting shots. So all you're doing is just annoying people by removing all their stuff. You're like, oh God, God damn it! The um, the one move that I, I I really like the idea of, but is really hard to pull off is mm -hmm. Snarl. Yeah. Now it's a lower special attack. Oh no! Wait, I'm not thinking of Snarl. Oh, no, it does damage and it lowers. No, it does damage and lowers special defense. No, no, the move I was thinking of. Sorry, uh, I must be getting. Oh, Snatch is it? Oh, where well, you steal their item? No, you steal their like stat raising move. Ah, okay. So basically, like I've tried it with Umbreon before, and the idea is like Umbreon waits for somebody else to try and like use Sword Stance or whatever. And steals it. And steals it from them. And like you basically steal their their powering up to like whatever move it is. But mm. I think it doesn't work um if it's like, oh you know, flame charge where they attack and then get a stat boost. I think it has to be they just use um a stat boosting move only. Yeah, like dark typing, because I'm not really the biggest fan of the type or the many of the Pokemon that are in it, but the moves are super fun and interesting. They are, yeah. When you try to build an interesting team, like um Snarl, uh, the one that I thought you were about is um they say, yep, the user yells, it's he's ranting about something, and it lowers their special it lowers their special attack. Yeah. But it also does a little bit of damage. And what I've done with one of my teams is I've put it on my technician Toxie. What's he called? The the toxic frog, but it's not toxic croak. The other one, um, the one that's electric. Toxicity. Uh, toxicity. Yeah. Because it knows um, uh, technician, so that doubles the effect of that. Ooh. So it does like base one hundred damage and lowers their special attack. But I've also give that toxicity a um, uh, throat spray. Which one's that again? The one that uh, gives them a special attack boost when they use a sound type move. Oh, nice. So then you get a special attack boost of your own, double like so lower their special attack and do double damage with technician. And just looking at all the moves that darts have, I was thinking like, be, this would be really fun. For me, not for the person I'm fighting, because they're gonna be infuriating if I pull it off. Yeah. But there's so many interesting just effects that those moves have. Mm-hmm. 